I'm Marcel James with Antelope Audio. We're at AES 2016 in Los Angeles at the Los Angeles Convention Center. Uh, buddy of mine, Chad Kelly over at Warm Audio, um, kind of a mutual appreciation society between Antelope and Warm, and we were kind of looking at some of their stuff in the studio, and they were checking out some of ours, and in the process, Chad got his hands recently on a Satori monitor switcher, and you've used other ones in the past and owned others in the past and been involved with the building of others, and you you were explaining some thoughts. I just thought you'd be cool if you'd share like kind of what you went through, what you were telling me about uh, about getting the Satori. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Well, I did recently get a Satori integrated into the studio. I had been using a, a passive monitor controller that, that was quite good for about the past 15 years or so, and didn't really think anything could be Im improved upon that until I got the Satori in the system. One of the, the, the first things I do when I get any new piece of gear, especially if it's in the monitoring chain, is I play some reference material, some, some rock material that, that I've listened to my whole life, uh, that I know backwards and forwards, and I listen for any differences, any, any things that I hear that I was never able to pick up on before. And um, with the Satori, I was able to hear some detail in some songs that had always escaped me in the past. Um, there's a particular song where there is a the sound of a chair swiveling in the session um, and it's something that if you don't know it's there you'll never hear it if you do know it is there uh, it's Rick Rubin uh, swiveling in a chair and if you know it's there uh, you can hear just a hint of it uh, on a good system but when the Satori was integrated and I listened to that and I listened for it I heard the full sound of that chair swiveling and then coming to a stop and that is not a detail that I had heard in this song in the hundreds of times that I had listened to it before. And it just went to show that the Satori has the ability to pick up some resolution that you're just not going to hear in a, in a lesser monitor controller, and it does make a big difference after all. Um, what are some of the other differences that you heard, you know, sonically from, you know, some of the other controllers you, you used? And uh, we don't have to get into who the who's who, but, you know, just what were some of the other sonic differences you heard besides the detail? Sure. Well, well, the stereo image is really, really precise on the Satori, and you can hear a center. Uh, when center sounds so clear that it sounds like there's a speaker in the dead center between the monitors, then you know you've got a really good monitor controller. You know that it's giving you a true center. And a lot of times with a passive system, when you do things like dim or some to mono, it's being done in a subtractive way that can scoop out the mid-range, and it can, it can really lose a lot of detail quickly. Uh, and the Satori holds up well in those different types of configurations. Mono is perfectly mono. Uh, stereo is fully wide and, and fully represented. The center channel is really, really audible. Um, and just on a hi-fi note, uh, we were having a lot of problems before integrating a turntable into this system just for, for listening enjoyment, and now we're able to put that in and vinyl sounds like it should sound. So, um, Chad, you know, thanks for sharing those thoughts, and it's really cool to have, like, you know, this kind of partnership or just teaming up with another manufacturer who, um, you know, we appreciate what you guys are doing, and check out Warm Audio. Uh, they, they make some great gear, and we appreciate the great comments, and, and you're using the Satori uh, monitor switcher. And you, you're using it in your own studio and at, or you have your studio now at Warm Audio. Well, both. Um, when I moved to Texas, um, kind of had to move sight unseen. Things happened very rapidly. Um, I basically relocated my studio from Baton Rouge into Liberty Hill, Texas, and right now my studio is the back half of the Warm Audio Complex. Um, there will reach a point where I build a home studio when I finally settle down in Texas and get a home and build a studio there. And at that point, uh, we'll be putting together a new Warm Studio, and I may need a second Satori. <laughs> well. I'm sure we'll make that work somehow. But thank you very much, Chad. Thanks for coming by, and uh, thanks for viewing.